And for stars like our Sun, the collapse continues until it produces a new and exotic type of star. In a world filled with vast mysteries and where the boundaries of our knowledge are constantly pushed, a shocking revelation has emerged from the depths of space. For centuries, scientists have held firm to the belief that our universe, like a tireless traveler, was ever expanding. It seemed an indisputable truth etched into the very fabric of our understanding. Until now, our understanding of the universe has now been challenged as renowned physicist Brian Cox has brought forth a mind-bending revelation that could shake the very foundations of astrophysics. And we can actually look so far out that we can see almost back to 13.8 billion years ago, which is very close to the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most advanced eye in the sky, has just shattered our perception of reality. It has taken us to the darkest corners of the cosmos, unveiling a startling truth that has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The universe has stopped expanding, but how can this be and can we be on the precipice of a cosmic revolution? Is it possible that the universe once thought to be endlessly expanding has come to a staggering halt? Join us as we delve into the groundbreaking discovery and uncover how the JWST has just unveiled how our universe has suddenly stopped expanding. We can look to light that began its journey before there were galaxies. And that's the, the oldest light in the universe. Which is, by the way, one of the, one of the pieces of evidence when people say, I don't believe in the Big Bang. The answer is, well, you can see it. The Big Bang theory is a widely accepted concept in our understanding of the universe. It states that our existence revolves around a significant event known as the Big Bang. Although there are other theories, like eternal inflation or an oscillating universe, that propose different beginnings for the universe. The astronomical community has generally embraced the idea that our universe originated from the Big Bang, and subsequent theories are built upon this common starting point. Every 10 to the minus 37 seconds. So it's an unimaginably fast expansion. And then the idea is that draws to a close, so it quite naturally sort of dies away and the expansion slows down. Although the term Big Bang is commonly used in astronomy, most people have limited knowledge about the details of this phenomenon Unless you're someone who has dedicated time to watching informative visualizations or have a particular interest in the subject. To put it simply, the phenomenon known as the Big Bang was more than just an explosion. It originated from a single point that was incredibly hot and dense. This point expanded to extreme lengths. All of this happened when the universe was very young. Surprisingly, at the time of the Big Bang, the universe was only 10 to the power of minus 34 seconds old which is an extremely small fraction of a second. Inflation is the idea that space, space-time, was around before the Big Bang, and it was expanding extremely fast, and it was doubling in size. During the Big Bang, the universe went through a rapid expansion, often referred to as an explosion or inflation. The space expanded at a speed faster than light. The growth was so rapid that you wouldn't have even noticed as the universe increased in size 90 times almost instantly, going from subatomic size to the size of a golf ball within one second. After the inflation, the universe started to cool down, leading to the formation of the matter we know today. Within a second, our universe was filled with all the particles we've learned about in chemistry class. Protons, neutrons, electrons, anti-electrons, photons, and neutrinos. These particles are the legacy of the Big Bang. So the Big Bang is an event when space gets very hot and very dense and filled with particles. And that may happen again. According to Brian Cox, our understanding of how the universe began is mostly based on theoretical ideas. Since the first moon landing, we have made significant progress in technology. Back when scientists were studying the Big Bang, they relied on mathematical formulas and scientific models. They couldn't have imagined that we would be considering the possibility of life on Mars. Although we have made breakthroughs in studying the universe and exploring space, our current technology has limitations. We are unable to recreate or directly observe the Big Bang itself. The cosmic microwave background provides the most substantial evidence we have, allowing scientists to detect the echo of the Big Bang. However, this method has its limitations. We cannot observe gravitational waves or the residual radiation from the expansion. Therefore, our knowledge relies heavily on theoretical principles, which are subject to revision. 
There's a theory called eternal inflation. And it's actually the most popular theory, I think, at the moment, for what happened, for why the Big Bang is the way that it is. While we have confidence in the concept of the Big Bang and its monumental role in creating the universe, there are aspects of its aftermath that we may have misunderstood. It is surprising to note that our theories about the universe are largely based on data that is prone to human errors. Nevertheless, some data strongly supports the Big Bang theory, making it difficult to completely disprove it at this time. Over the past 10 years or so, our main tool for studying the Big Bang has been the Hubble Space Telescope. However, now all hopes are pinned on the impressive precision of the James Webb Space Telescope. Before we had access to these advanced instruments, one of the major points of debate in astronomical research was the expansion of the universe. If you were to look at some science textbooks from the early 90s, you would read about the widening of the universe, meaning that it was expanding. This fact has been widely accepted. However, the real issue is that we may not fully understand what the expansion of the universe truly entails. Moreover, we need to question whether the universe is actually expanding because, as a spoiler, the James Webb Space Telescope is suggesting otherwise. Surprise! The universe has stopped expanding. When it comes to the Big Bang, most people commonly think of it as an explosion, thanks to fictional works and popular media. They depict the birth of the universe as a massive burst, with energy and matter spreading in all directions. However, scientifically speaking, this visualization is incorrect. Despite the widespread use of the word explosion and inflation, the universe's creation wasn't exactly a blast. Scientists like Brian Cox want us to correct our understanding. In NASA's own words, the universe did not expand into pre-existing space because space itself did not exist before the universe. Instead, it's better to think of the Big Bang as the simultaneous appearance of space everywhere in the universe. Our understanding of this phenomenon also reveals that our universe went through a long-lasting cosmic period, only interrupted by reionization in space. Before this event, our universe was pitch black and dark. The let there be light moment for the universe occurred 400 million years after the Big Bang. That's right. The explosive event only created the fundamental building blocks of all living beings and celestial bodies in the universe. For 400 million years, the universe remained in darkness because there were no stars or galaxies. It was only when clusters of gas transformed into stars and galaxies that the universe emerged from its cosmic dark ages. Here's an interesting trivia. When do you think our solar system came into existence? Well, if the universe was in darkness and eerie silence for 400 million years, our solar system was born 9 billion years after the Big Bang. So sorry, in science fiction movies, there's a significant disparity between the so-called explosion and scientific theory. And of course, this changes everything. The reality is that our universe still exists as a single starting point without having moved or expanded since the Big Bang. What truly occurs is that space itself stretches over time carrying matter along with its trajectory. To put it simply, the universe isn't expanding in the way we visualize or understand it. It is the active stretching of space that precedes the expansion of the universe. We understand that this might be a bit difficult to grasp, but it's crucial to comprehend the significance of what we're about to explain. In this video, we will use the term expansion of the universe to refer to the active movement of our space. Even scientists find it comfortable to use this precise phrasing to describe the recent discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope, the discovery that the universe has stopped expanding is both terrifying and contradicts our previous theoretical knowledge of this perplexing phenomenon. Before this shocking discovery, scientists were convinced that the universe was expanding at an accelerating rate since its beginning, and they were not mistaken. With the assistance of the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists gathered solid evidence to support this theory. Therefore, NASA is not correcting its earlier understanding of the universe's expansion. Whatever is happening to our universe now is entirely new and potentially irreversible. Although the discovery itself is profoundly frightening, it is not entirely unexpected. As we delve into the concept of gravity, you will see that our universe has always been susceptible to collapse, starting with the origin of dark energy. In the 1990s, NASA and its reputable scientists had some conclusive ideas about the expansion of the universe. Gravity was the most fundamental aspect of their scientific understanding, and it still holds true today. 
However, we now have entirely different ideas about the speeds at which our universe expands. As we mentioned before, scientists had a theory about the universe's collapse, suggesting that its expansion, as we know it today, would eventually stop. On the other hand, there was an opposing and equally alarming idea. If the energy density was too low, our universe would continue expanding indefinitely. The concept was quite unfamiliar back in the 1990s, when scientists had limited technical assistance to gather concrete observational data for their predictions. However, they were certain that as our universe aged, gravity would gradually slow down the rate of expansion. This made sense intuitively, as gravity pulls galaxies closer together, as we have already established. Since our universe is composed of matter, the gravitational force would prevent it from dispersing too widely. This theory was further extended to explain the rate of the universe's expansion. Brian Cox believed that since gravity acts as the binding force for all matter and has existed since the beginning of the universe, the expansion rate must decrease over time. Although there were no means to directly observe or conduct extensive testing on this phenomenon, it made logical sense in theory. However, everything changed in 1998 with the invention of the Hubble Space Telescope. The HST revolutionized our understanding of the universe by studying distant supernovas. These supernovas provided insights into the fluidity of space and consequently the expansion of the universe. What scientists discovered was completely contrary to their existing knowledge about the universe. It left them bewildered and perplexed as the implications were monumental. This single discovery compelled a complete rewriting and revision of astronomical studies. Scientists had to revisit their theoretical studies and make significant changes based on the findings of the Hubble Space Telescope. It was a groundbreaking moment in the study of the universe, where seeing the evidence became the ultimate proof. Surprisingly, they discovered that gravity was not slowing down the expansion of the universe as previously believed. Instead, the universe was expanding at an even faster rate than ever before. Since the beginning of the universe, the rate of expansion had consistently increased, which was quite unexpected. This theory posed a challenge to explain, as gravity should have worked against the acceleration and slowed down the expansion. Gravity seemed to have no power in this regard, and to this day we still don't fully comprehend the reasons behind the universe's astronomical expansion. The prevailing theoretical understanding suggested that the expansion should have slowed unless there was an anti-gravitational force overpowering gravity. Until the recent discovery of the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists like Brian Cox believed that our universe resembled a vast battlefield. Hubble's revelation created a crisis in the scientific community as organizations like NASA sought swift explanations for this unprecedented cosmic acceleration. Initially, the assumption was that Einstein's theory of gravity might not be as accurate as previously thought. According to this theory, gravity was the result of mass and energy distorting space and time. If this theory held true, the universe should not have been expanding at an accelerated rate. Another proposed explanation for the phenomenon was the existence of an energy fluid that propelled the expansion. However, numerous competing theories emerged and were eventually discarded, leaving Einstein's theory intact. Ultimately, the only satisfactory explanation for Hubble's astonishing discovery was the concept of dark energy. This term holds immense significance in the scientific community, yet our knowledge about this force remains extremely limited. We know that dark energy constitutes the majority of the universe, with normal matter comprising only a small fraction. It is a mysterious and somewhat unsettling notion. This discovery also supports Einstein's concept of the cosmological constant, where empty space possesses its own force. As the universe expands, this force remains constant and unaffected, even in the slightest sense. So how does this relate to what the James Webb Telescope reveals? Why has our universe stopped expanding in the presence of dark energy? Well, scientists are still trying to understand this strange discovery. If we examine the interaction between gravity and dark energy, we might find an answer. The cosmological constant is a mysterious force in space that can be seen as a substitute for dark energy. Scientific theory suggests that gravity and dark energy are constantly in conflict, with one trying to overpower the other. Before our universe stopped expanding, it seemed like dark energy was challenging the gravitational pull. As a result, our universe was expanding at an accelerated rate. 
However, this phenomenon has now completely stopped. Considering that our knowledge of space and dark matter was already limited, scientists have no clear explanation for this disruption. While NASA was expecting the emergence of anti-dark energy, this specific concept of physics was not anticipated in the current era. The halt in the universe's expansion, as Brian Cox would describe it, is an entirely new area of physics. One possible explanation could be that gravity is finally overcoming dark energy to stop the universe's expansion. If our universe followed a trajectory, it would have contracted significantly before coming to a complete halt. Alternatively, gravity might have unexpectedly started counteracting the effects of dark energy. In either case, we need substantial observational and theoretical evidence to justify whether gravity is changing its properties. This is a challenging task because, historically, gravity has always been constant and there is no substantial proof of it interacting differently with the universe. This situation is quite unsettling, as it could lead to a scenario known as the Big Crunch. However, thanks to the theoretical work of scientists like Cox, we have some understanding of the potential impacts of anti-dark energy. You could call it a strategic foreshadowing or a speculative idea, but some scientists were already preparing for the reversal of dark energy. In 2011, Brian Cox released a highly praised book called Wonders of the Universe, which was later followed by a TV series of the same name. This popular combination of the book and TV show captivated a wide audience who wanted to learn about the universe in simple terms. While the series is entertaining, it takes a darker turn when Cox and his co-author Andrew Cohen discuss the eventual end of the universe. Thinking about the apocalypse is not something most people want to dwell on. But if our universe stops expanding and cannot reverse its course, it might be the right time to contemplate the unimaginable. It's important to note that time is not linear and our existence is interconnected with the universe. If the universe contracts and collapses, so do we. As far as we can gather since the universe has ceased its expansion, this could be the pathway for the sun to cool down, resulting in an apocalypse shrouded in pitch black darkness. Eventually, the universe would collapse in on itself, leading us toward a single black hole singularity. However, if this were to become our fate, it would take approximately 6 billion years, at least according to Brian Cox's theory. It's almost ironic, but this recent discovery has prompted most scientists to reconsider ultimate fate theories that were once deemed untestable or purely mythical. One significant topic in physical cosmology is the ultimate fate of the universe, which focuses primarily on its evolution and the end of time. In this emerging field, a theory of interest is known as the Big Crunch. This cosmological event occurs when the universe stops expanding and begins to contract, reaching a point where its average density is sufficient to halt further expansion. While the Big Crunch remains largely unexplored, we can speculate on how the universe might end. If the gravitational pull of the universe becomes extremely intense, it could cut through the fabric of space and time. In an instant, our universe would collapse into a dimensionless singularity, marking the inception of the Big Bang. In theory, we would find ourselves right back where we started. In the beginning of what we call eternity, we noticed that time seemed to move backward. This is why the Big Crunch theory, which suggests the universe collapsing, wasn't popular in astronomy. However, recent data shows that the Big Crunch theory is plausible, and we are closer to a universal collapse than we previously thought. This means we are getting closer to a second Big Bang. The end of the world is a scary thought. Our connection with black holes, which were once thought to affect us billions of years from now, could actually impact us in just a few million years. The collapse of the universe can be measured in both cosmological and geological timescales. So, while Brian Cox was right about the diminished role of dark energy, his timeline for the apocalypse was a bit off. To understand it better, imagine running a marathon from Park A to Park B, but then suddenly being told to run back to point A. If you strictly follow the linear laws of time, your trajectory doesn't change. Similarly, if our universe is running backward, mimicking the events from the beginning, it should take us around 13 billion years to recreate the Big Bang. However, Cosmic time is not that simple. A new study by scientists from Princeton University reveals that the expansion of the universe is slowing down at an alarming rate, and the consequences will be catastrophic. 
While the Big Crunch was once a distant future possibility, real-time observational data suggests the potential for a Big Bang 2.0 in dinosaur timescales, which is both interesting and terrifying. Scientists believe that the time remaining before the end of acceleration is less than the time since the extinction of the dinosaurs caused by the Chicxulub asteroid impact. The dinosaurs went extinct approximately 65 million years ago. This means we are potentially living at the second origin of the universe, Although 65 million years may seem long considering climate change and our planet's challenges, it is nothing in the cosmic timescale. Some scientists also speculate that Big Bang 2.0 will only occur after life on Earth collapses. However, we currently lack sufficient scientific data to support this theory. Nonetheless, we cannot ignore the disturbing facts about this discovery, as rapidly changing cosmic events are not easy to detect. Our best evidence lies in supernovas and the echo of the Big Bang itself. These cosmic entities do not undergo rapid changes, and by the time we notice any transformation, it may be too late to react. The James Webb Space Telescope offers a glimmer of hope in tracking changes in distant objects and studying the Big Bang up close. As we try to understand the contraction of the universe, certain predictions are based on our theoretical knowledge. We know that our universe is always in motion, either expanding or contracting. If the universe contracts, gravity dominates and dark matter becomes powerless. This would put an end to one popular theory that suggested the universe would freeze to death. In this dark era, all energy in the universe would be evenly distributed, resulting in a temperature close to zero and eternal darkness. Fortunately, the Big Freeze is no longer a possibility, but the Big Crunch remains a terrifying but distant reality. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.